Okay, thanks very much, uh, everyone, for, for coming down. Uh, we're here to announce uh, the appointment and one that is um, probably one of the most important in recent North Melbourne Football Club history. Uh, after the retirement of Brady Rawlings uh, last year, we were forced to change our three-man leadership group. And under that leadership group, I think every one of these players knows just what it's uh, what being a part of the North, North Melbourne Football Club is all about and all, more importantly probably what it's like to be a North Melbourne person rather than just a player. Uh, so they've set a really high standard uh, for everyone else to follow. And probably about five months ago Boomer and I started talking about what was best for the leadership of this football club and throughout those discussions it's really um, hit home to me that the reason this guy's been such a legendary player and captain and person of this football club is because throughout those discussions everything has always come back to what is best for North Melbourne and that's really what we're about it's everything for North Melbourne and throughout those discussions we talked about various options for leadership and one thing I'm really confident in is that we have a number of players who are not only worthy but are very capable of doing the job and so after that long and lengthy process it's been decided that seeing as we do have players that are worthy and are capable that the opportunity to announce a new leadership group and indeed a new captain while Drew and Boomer are still playing with us and able to support that new captain that opportunity was too good to pass up. So in the spirit of everything for North Melbourne our captain for 2012 and beyond is Andrew Swallow. Our vice captains, Drew Petrie and Jack Zebel. And elevated into the leadership group, um, a player who brings something unique to this uh, group of five uh, is Daniel Wells, uh, someone who, when he speaks, uh, commands respect. And the leadership that Wells he offers is more and through uh, when he talks, everyone listens, but what he does on field, he's elevated himself into the leadership uh, position and is truly worthy. When I'm wealthy. And our ex captain now, uh, see, I'm tired of saying that, Boomer, but will play an extremely important role at this football club, mentoring and developing our next generation of leaders. And I can honestly say that if these young leaders develop into the type of person and leave the legacy that Boomer will leave when he finally retires. If they can live up to that, then this football club will be extremely well placed to build on what is already the strongest and most respected culture in football. So we're extremely well placed for the future. But to those who are given much, much is expected. And Boomer set the bar higher than anyone. And so my challenge to everyone here at this football club is to live up to the expectations and the standards that these guys set. Because after all, everything for North Melbourne is what we're about. And that these guys, these five, exemplify that. Well done. Do you want to say a couple of words or you? Yeah. Um, I'll put you right on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, firstly, I'd just like to thank um, Brad and, and the football club for this opportunity. Um, you know, to, to come after Boomer and, um, you know, it's great to still have him around to, to be able to learn off him and I think what he's done in his time here has been, you know, absolutely terrific and I'm really excited about, about this opportunity. Uh, also to work with, you know, Jack and Wellesley and, and Drewy to have them, um, I suppose, around me, uh, to support me, but also to work with the, the next generation, to work with the Ryan Bassnax, Jamie McMillan, these guys that are coming through, um, you know, young guys which are going to really um, push us to that next um, that next premiership. So, yeah, just want to thank um, the club for the opportunity. Uh, thanks, Brad, for trusting me, but also um, thank the boys for um, hopefully what will be a, a successful season. So, yeah, thank you. I might have time enough to boom. Yeah, seriously, I'm going to